Good morning. It is Real Estate Tips Tuesday, and this week's tips, we're going to talk about the exterior of your home. Because most of the time, we're always focused on the interior that we forget the out, um, the outside of the home. Sometimes, when we go to look at a home, we're always um, interested in what the kitchen looks like or what the bathroom looks like, and we kind of forget or neglect to really pay attention to what the outside is going to be like. So here are a few, a few things that you need to look for when you're looking at an exterior of a home that you want to purchase. You want to look at the property from all four angles of the property. This way you get a good idea of what's around it, um, the, the property line, how big it is, how close it is to neighbors, if there's any kind of weird things like cell towers or power lines that are coming through that you might not like if you're sitting out on your porch trying to enjoy your new home. Another thing to consider is the outbuildings of the home. Make sure that you walk around and make sure that the outbuildings are nice and upkept. There's not any issues with them, but also to make sure that the homeowner hasn't stored anything behind a shed or another building and might forget about them so that you have to take care of them after you move into the home. Another good thing to think about is some of the outdoor components of the house, which means gates that go in and out of the yard or perhaps sprinkler systems and uh, the gutters and, and of the house just to kind of make sure that they're um, there and they're functioning properly and that you don't have any issues with those. Another thing to consider is landscaping. Even though the yard is beautiful and has lovely flower beds and trees and bushes, you need to consider how expensive and how time consuming these are to upkeep because there is lots of maintenance that needs to be had with a very high end landscaped yard. And another good one to think about is the sound. A lot of times you're coming in to a neighborhood during probably a quiet time of the neighborhood, but you really want to try to sit down or think about, you know, what the sounds may be, such as an airplane that flies over because there's an airport nearby, so the sound is really loud, or perhaps a train goes through and wants to blow its horn and wake you up at three o'clock in the morning. You might not know that if you're going in there, but it is always, you know, something to think about when you're um, driving into the neighborhood about where the railroad tracks are or if you happen to be at the home at the time to just kind of hear the surrounding um, sounds of the neighborhood to make sure that it's not too noisy um, or too busy. There are some more tips down below in the comment section so make sure you take a look at those and if there are any of these topics that you would like to discuss, please contact me through my social pages. And if you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe so that you can get updates every week into your mailbox. Into your email box. And until next time, have a great rest of the weekend.